Well, it's Surf Church Sunday. I'm getting ready to go get the Mumbles Man and head to the land of Nala. O'Neill's. Soft. I've never tried O'Neill's before. I've always wore Reese. Try them out. On sale, $19. I got the new uh, headphones from Grey Ghost. Waterproof ones. Give them a spin. That's what most everybody uses, except for the few custom ones that's around for the CTX. Yesterday I picked up some knives from a restaurant, a new restaurant account. I'm not to go to go into any detail about them, but they got a nice saboteur cleaver. In pretty good shape. They've been calling me for a couple of days. I don't know if you'll be able to see these or not. Let me see if I get out here in the sunlight. The blades, if you can see them, are all different angles. I mean, they're not flat by no means. I don't know what they sharpened them on, but whatever it was was a terrible. something look at that one it's like wavy they, they go they go higher on one place and lower in another this is an international hinkle here I think Spain and the other one was a big uh, Cathalon precision series and this one is a uh, Victor Knox then they got a little teeny para Heckle International. This is the same way. It's just the blade is terrible. I mean, you can see it's not straight. No bevel. It's all out of contour, or contact, or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, they haven't worn them for two weeks, so I dropped them off some lunar knives. So they're going to use mine, and he wants to sharpen them every two weeks. I said, okay, I can do that. It's a Indian place from Indians from Nepal Nelpanese or I don't know what you call them. new new brand new spot all right back to the land of Nada now Beaver just left he's on his way it's uh, quite breezy still we had a terrible rainstorm and a lot of breeze right now bay's too rough I had a nice gig yesterday, but the weather was raining a little bit. So I only took a meager amount of gear to get by with in case the market was closed. But it was open, and uh, I ended up with uh, 17 knives and three sets of pruners. But I didn't take my camera with me because of the rain. And almost all the vendors were there. It wasn't really busy because of the weather. But it was a pretty good day. Okay, see you later to land on Nava. It's rough as bricks to land on Nava today. Red flags will be up. Under, undertow warning already on the news. Mumble Man. Mumble Man went yesterday morning. Kind of a mumbling day. I don't see any looters in immediate sight. But there's plenty of waves. The beach is nice and flat. The black sand's been all the way up here. Everybody, including the Mumble Man, found a bunch of tent stakes yesterday. That wave washed them down and picked all the tent stakes up down through here. Not many depositors today in the water. But a few over there. Stand by. That's Mr. Glenn in Surf Church. <laughs> I see another looter coming up behind us. I can't tell who it is. Oh, it's John. It's Doc Beaver. Yeah, 
Yeah, Doc Weaver. I can tell by the speed. What's up, Mr. Dick? Good day, buddy. How you making out today? Not too good. Bunch of pennies. in the lane today, hand scooping some kind of fisher. Or whites, I'm not sure what it is. I ain't got over that last thing yet. I was showing something in here, see if you see anything. I'm just curious. What's your name? Rick. Rick? Yeah. How you doing? Good, man. Nice to meet you. You live here at the beach? I live up, up in that great neck. Okay. Yeah. Where is you think it is? Right around the Well, we're down by the pier now. I think we're probably going to turn around here and go back. Tide is uh, low. I think we're right about now. It's 10 minutes after 12. You see there's lots of depositors on the beach. Look at them down that way. Lots of depositors. There's a mumble man. They had a tow rig finally. Okay, back to work. I've used for detecting. I'm going back and get me another pair of them today or tomorrow. If they got them. 19 bucks. We'll give them an A+. Plus. Now these gray ghosts, waterproof. I got tape on a hole so the air don't blow through them. I'm only going to give them a C, maybe a C plus. They're not too hot down here today with all this wind. They're not very quiet. They ain't very no noisy either. I mean, they're not very loud. I got the volume wide open. I got the threshold wide open. And I just can barely hear the threshold. I already knew that going into this drum. It wasn't nothing new I didn't already know, but I didn't think they were quite that bad. They're okay, don't get me wrong, they're just not very loud. 
My buddy Dick told me he's getting ready to buy a pair from Al. Al makes some uh, nice phones in the UK called Surf Phones for the CTX. I'll send you the link to his page. You can take a look at them. If you Dick might end up with another pair. I don't know. Stand by. Mumble Man got another ring. He has another bling ring. So we've both got two bling rings so far. I'll see it when we get back. That's all right. All right. We're headed back. We're getting the thick of the depositors now. Look at them. The thick of, thick of it. Damn, that's a nice depositor right there. There's a roundup, surf church. A few quarters, a few dimes, a few nickels, a lot of damn pennies, two bling rings, and some kind of other bling thing. Denny had two bling rings, you'll see a picture of those. Beaver had a stainless steel ring, but there was some gold found. At least, at least, uh, let's see, one, two, maybe three or four gold rings found today. Our buddy Lazarus, not Lazarus, our buddy Doug, he found a big fat 18K. I'll have a picture of that. Uh, and he said he saw two more, but he didn't say who they were. One was a 10K, and I think he said the other one was a 14K. So we know there were three gold rings found today for sure. Uh, let's see if I know any more reports. Nope, I got some more reports, but they're about like what we got, bling and clad. I'll uh, check with you tomorrow, someplace, somewhere, somehow. Good luck to everybody.